Jack, we've got obviously a lot of public adjusters that listen to this show, and a lot of them are probably less than three years of experience, I would say, a good majority of them. And they see you on another giant, massive building every other day, it seems like. And I think they'd want to know, how is it that you, Jack, and Chris are able to collaborate and really be successful on an insurance claim, which again, this leads me to why you guys are collaborating now to making sure that we are professional and that we are actually providing uh, uh, an accurate assessment of damages. Well, the whole thing is on these large losses, you got to have your experts, right? I mean, I'm a policy guy. I can, I, my, my job is to fight for the coverage. I let Chris do the talking on um, if, if there's a, a water mitigation issue, that's his problem. I'll bring him in and let him write his report. And I mean, I, when I bring experts in and I'll, we'll, we'll teach this as well, I let them talk to the carriers. And they're, and they're, we had a call last week where we had two environmental reports, Chris and the other guy. And I sit back with the adjuster. We let them discuss it because I'm not, I don't know how the smoke penetrated insulation. That's not a PA's job. That's Chris's job. Same thing with engineers. We want these engineers to talk. That's when you when you have these large claims, you know how to know your role. I mean, like you said in the beginning, Vince, we are the quarterback. We call the play, and I got Chris running the wide out on the on the 20. That, that, that's that's his role, right? And everybody has their own role. And I the last person you want to talk about is how to put a roof on. I am not a roofer. However, I have great consultants around me that know how to do that. Right. And I we pay them and bring them in. That's all part of it. And the industry is horrible about that. Like Chris said, we get I still get claims in, on a daily basis on an appraisal, for instance, that there's no there's there's no moisture mapping. And they said 150 grand worth of, of stuff in there. Like that's not how it's supposed to work. So that's what we're going to work on is creating a platform where you, it's a checklist, man. When this claim like this comes in, A, B, C, D, E and F. And when you get to Z, Everyone's paid fairly and equitably and quickly and, and honestly. That's the whole idea, right? But you got to have part of, place. Yeah, and, and part of being an organization, uh, Vince, is that if you don't have an, if you don't know the answer, then you don't have to take the Facebook. You can go straight to the members. You can come straight to me and ask me a question. Like that's going to be part of the collaboration within this organization. Is that go straight to the professionals, get your answers and apply that back to your business or your client. Like don't, you don't have to take to Facebook where you don't even know who who's going to answer or who's going to hammer you down with, a, with thinking that your question is dumb. This is not about that. This is a place for young PAs and, and veteran PAs for that matter. And roofers, it's a place to go to better yourself and better your business for your policy holder. That's what we're, we're creating a safe place for them to feel comfortable to basically get the education that they need. And the key word there like, is safe. I, I get so tired of people being berated on platforms when they ask a question that they simply don't know. And you look and it's like all these, all these, all these clown shows are just banging these guys. And that, you know what that does is shuts the industry down because nobody wants to ask a question because they feel stupid. There's, there's no such thing as a, there's a reason why you're asking that question, right? I mean, Vince, we, we talk about, we probably talk a half dozen times a year on stuff. I take to Frank Dalton. I talk to other PAs about stuff when I'm unsure about it. I have other PAs read policies to make sure we're not missing something. But that's the collaboration we're talking about. What a great group. If you have 10 of the 15 top PAs involved and 10 of the great water mitigation guys involved and 10 commercial roofers, where these questions can be asked, and it's a simple three sentence, here's what I would do in this circumstance, blah, 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 without being berated. Can you imagine? how that's going to keep building and building and building. That's that's the cool part. And also, too, uh, to, to go back to that, Jack, is that the, the 10 roofers, 10 water mitigations, 10, 10, whatever it may be, you're, you're going to get you're going to get your questions answered from 10 or wh however many it is vetted people like we went through there. We, we talked to past clients. We've looked at their records like this is they're doing it right. You're not getting advice from someone that's doing it wrong or has an ego that that they don't want to listen on how to do it right. You're getting advice from people that have been successful, but also made a lot of mistakes. And yeah. I'm willing to share my mistakes with them to where they don't make those again. So you're, the, 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 the level of education that you're getting um, by being part of this group and this collaboration is going to be second, second to none because we've went through the process to make sure that you're getting the right education.